Welcome back. I'm Michael Sandler, your host on Inspire Nation, along with... CJ Lou from the Fire It Up with CJ show. With a non-creaky microphone headset. Woohoo! And if a piece you, of bread. <laughs> and a piece of bread. We'll get to that. If you've ever needed a big shift in your life, then do we have the Winds and Wings of Change show for you. Today, we'll talk about syncing with the angels, with the seasons, and creating beautiful, balanced, positive change in your life. That plus we'll talk about the inner preceding the outer, the changes of the seasons, pookie peddling, blood sugar tests, power of ambient music, yogurt, bread, kombucha, New York City bound, video and book bin, 330 PowerPoint push, middle of the night edits, room merch, Inspire Nation manager, scrutinizing our YouTube channel, date night tonight, and what in the world, finally finding pants has to do with it. <laughs> so welcome back to the show, CJ. Are you ready to shine? I am ready to shine. <laughs> I need the oxygen mask now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, chakra one. And we need to be grounded, Michael. Which is That's often the good case thing. with us. I, I am quite grounded right now. So we're 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 doing well, particularly given the number of um uh, challenges, um you know, things that we're doing as we're six weeks out. Six weeks out from the due date. Wow, OMG. Michael, that's so that so, happens so quickly, it seems. In yes, some life ways. life passes by. <laughs> yes, it's getting wow. and she's kicking like crazy, and you can you can see her feet or arms go across from the inside of the stomach. It's kind of cool. Mm. Um, so um, yeah, we're getting we're getting close, and um, we we had our uh, diabetic uh, gestational diabetes test last week, and we squeaked by by the hair of our chinny chin chin. So we've gone to a complete diet change for the pookie the the finger prick tests the full works and jessica riding on the extra cycle now and it's it's an interesting time of big change big positive change right now so she can move because before she wasn't allowed to move because you were worried about baby but now she can move and it's yeah it's a wild ride so we had the surgery to save uh where we lost miraku but saved uh baby hana about three months ago now, uh, no, no, two months ago. Um, and then uh, Jessica couldn't move for about a month after that and then was slowly allowed to move and now is recommended to get moving oh, wow. uh, to get her, her uh, fitness back, relatively speaking, mm -hmm. um, to help with childbirth. And uh, baby wow. Hannah's heart hasn't recovered fully yet because her heart was pumping for two. Right. Uh, they're planning on doing a minor heart procedure, they call it, uh, when she's born. But we're also hoping that getting the blood flowing can help her heart mm -hmm. as well. And I do, I think I mentioned last time, uh, each morning and each evening, as best as I can, I do 20 minutes of hand-on wow. energy healing work on, on, on the womb. And when I'll put my hand on her belly, uh, baby Hannah will come over and start kicking or pushing where Aww, my hand is. that's cute. Which is, is very, That's very, very cool. Very cute. Very, very cute. All right. So what else is happening on Jessica? It sounds like there's a lot happening for, for Jessica. What else is happening for Jessica? Uh, for Jessica, other things that are happening, she's been getting back into the creative side of things. She created Rue Merch, Rue which Merch. is this this is this is a a, a a mug. One side of it says, "Are you ready to shine?" And it's got Rue there. The other side, it, we stole or Rue stole an Emil QA uh, phrase, and it says, "Every day and every way, I am getting better and better, or I get better <laughs> and better." And and I'm wearing this is shameless, and and I'm I'm so embarrassed by it, but heck, I'm wearing a Rue. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So we've got all the Rue gear right now, but she's been having fun doing stuff that makes her smile and makes her laugh right now. That is so, great. Well, I'm actually is... doing the same thing because I'm doing – I mine's really fast. I'm making – my husband is making this incredible rye bread, sourdough rye. Yep. So there's like a whole bunch of, you know, bacteria growing in our house. And then um, my friend by design, brought, by design, <laughs> yes. Unlike your little venture into a bacteria-filled hot tub when I last spoke to you, and then um, a I'm making kombucha. So there's another bacteria-producing thing in our kitchen. A actually, mold-producing. So we used to make kombucha. It makes. But I know it's you mold. Told me that she has it's all fungi. these great recipes. So 
we're making kombucha. There's like a Very thing, cool. like this big thing that's like a glob, scoby that's growing. It's, it's kind of like a um, jellyfish without tentacles. Well, hopefully yeah. without the tentacles. Exactly. And then I um, and then I decided to make yogurt. So I'm making homemade yogurt. We have like a whole healthy bacteria thing going on in our house right now for no apparent reason. Like we didn't. We well, just, there's another thing we made on Maui um, that's in that family as we started making um, – uh, homemade kefirs. Oh. Um, we made coconut kefirs. And then we would take the kefir and we would add that, this kind of fermented um, uh, uh, fermented coconut milk, and we would add that to nut butters, and we can Ooh. hand make the nut butters. And you had this fermented, in a sense, it sounds weird, pre digested nut butter that was easily, more easily, or uh, let's call this another way, more bioavailable easier to digest because of the kefir to have a bunch of nut butter. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have to like find out about that. I'm curious now to have like yet another, but what I love about all these things, aside from the bread, which I have no involvement in my husband is, is it's pretty easy to make. Yeah. So anyhow, but tell me a little bit more about like what you guys are doing in terms of your new creative endeavors. It sounds like you're doing some new, um, well, some new things on your channel. Starting about, I don't know if it was three re weeks ago. I mean, it was it was a pretty pressure filled time, and I started doing and, and I talked about it last week. These practices of merging with the angels, of syncing up with the energy of the angels. At the same time, the weather started to shift. Although we did have a minor minor blizzard, we had a good little snowstorm last oh, weekend. Oh, but I think that was the last of the year, yeah. kind of the last gasp. But we're looking at all areas of our lives. So YouTube channel is in need of some big upgrades. And so we've been scrutinizing that and got somebody on board to help with that. Um, the business itself has not been a sustainable model without Jessica and I working quite diligently at it. We brought in a manager to help with that, which is crazy amazing. And um, each area we're, we're doing our best to overturn stones and say what gets to change. And it's sort of, it's... You go outside today and it's warm and I've been kayaking a lot and I've been swimming a little bit. Wow. And we're, yeah, the day after there was last any ice, I was in the water. <laughs> I know because I think it was not – I think a couple weeks ago you were talking about walking on the ice like three weeks ago. I mean, That's it true. so long ago. Wow. And then it was 10 days after I was walking or skating on the ice yeah. that I was swimming in the water. So, But we're, we're surfing these this change and – it may be something about springtime um, and definitely the merging with the angels. It's a little bit easier. Some of the um, things that we've discovered or uncovered um, have not been easy. Like, why didn't we fix that years ago? Or, oh, my God, X, Y, Z is like that. It has required. That's why we said we said before the show, we're grounded. We're good. Mm -hmm. It has required a grounding to a very deep level, particularly as you get the WTFs coming up. I merge with the, are you kidding me? I merge with the energy of the angels. Oh, that's I a good idea. I merge with the energy of the, because I can't do it myself. Too many things. And we even went in and, and I hope, I hope this beautiful loving hospital does it differently with us next time. You go in first off um, our two hour drive with, rush hour traffic and multiple car accidents in front of us took three hours to get to the hospital. So we're very late. We're calling, letting them know we're going to be late. However, their answering service or answering system hasn't changed because of daylight savings oh, no. and, and says we won't be open for another hour, even though they're already open. Oh gosh. Oh, and you have the switchboard transfer in the switchboard and they get the same thing and the emergency service. And, you get, and so your, your nervous system is going up. You get in there. You get the first test, which is to check baby Hannah's heart. And then they bring you into a room. And the first thing they do each and every time is they bring you a picture of the heart. Yeah. And it's like an interrogation. Oh. Instead of saying, here's what's going on, they slide the picture in front of you. <laughs> no. And they say, tell us what you know. What does that mean? It, what it means is I'm about to be a mofo <laughs> because I'm like, 
this this is my baby's life. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me, I am a, I, I am such a loving person, but it's really an interrogation. So what do you know? You know. <laughs> 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 and each time has gone the same way. So, and the last two times I've said the same thing at the beginning, give me some good news. Right. And they slide it in front of me and go, so what do you know? And I'm like, no, no, no. And and, and this time so after weird. I said, give me some good news, because I'm setting the stage and they slide it in front of me. I said, all right, tell me about this valve. What's going on? What's the number going through it? Right. I'm not playing a Mickey Mouse game, but it started, I had to really work to ground because it didn't start on a we're equals, let's just share from the heart. And so, so I'm having strange. to merge with the angels because <laughs> like, I'm a protective <laughs> papa. <laughs> That is just it's like right out of the movie. Slide the paper right in front of you. <laughs> Tell us about this. You know, like the, the, the policeman or the FBI agent or the NSA, <laughs> no such agency person slides it. Tell me about this. What like, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, what is Didn't I pay people to read this thing? I don't understand. Why am I now reading? <laughs> Instead and it's of... well, it's just a generic heart. It's not even tight. It's no, it's just a picture of a heart with the valves three times in a row. So what do you know? <laughs> okay. All right. So, so mine is very quick, but it completely relates to this. Um, I have two things. One is um, doing my taxes this year. I, I think I should have, I didn't think about calling for the angels, but seriously, I will do that because I finish, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm finished with the taxes. And I'm, I'm kind of the person who I try doing it a little bit every month and like keeping on top of it. It just didn't work. I was just like, I'll just bite the bullet. On I'm not day. sure it worked for anybody. Yeah. So sure. I'm just going to take, bite the bullet and spend, you know, eight years, eight years, <laughs> eight hours of my life going through all this stuff, categorizing, figuring out where everything goes. Because, you know, when you own your own business, there's a lot of accounting that has to be done. And you have to do yes. a post-haste and organize, like, your checking account, your credit card. I mean, it's just a nightmare. Anyways, I did that. And then um, my husband came tottering down, like, oh, I forgot to give you this. And I was like, excuse me? <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> and, then, and then I went through. And it, somehow it, I was doing an audit. I don't even know that thing that he gave me generated like an audit to make sure that my mint data was all correct but somehow yeah. it, it did not include some transactions that were actually high amounts that would have like helped us deduct things and I thought oh no now I don't understand why this stuff wasn't and so I went through this whole thing again and then my husband's like did I give you this he came down four <laughs> times and each time I'm reprinting these documents I'm actually having to resubmit my taxes online for the state of Washington. I was I like, merge I merged the energy <laughs> of the angels. angels. I should have done that, Michael. So I was like, oh my gosh, you don't know how painful this is. And you are making me do this four more times. I feel like, yeah, I should have been merging with the angels. And then I had a, um, so I did this book and video binge because I have, um, this interview that I had, I haven't been interviewed. You know, you when you do clients, it's kind of being interviewed, but I haven't been interviewed for a job in a really long time. Um, and so I um, was getting prepared for this interview. So I read through like two books, like two good hefty, like 250 page books. Um, one of which I was like, it was like very hard to read because it kept on triggering me. So I'd have to get triggered and then I put the book down and I get triggered and I put the book down. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, um, watch, I took a whole video course. I mean, I've been just binging on all the stuff to get pre prepared for this interview. And, and then I'm glad that I did. Cause in the interview though, it was a very strange interview. I felt like, um, you know, the scene in um, Willy Wonka where they like take the golden eggs and they put them all on these scales and it, and then there, there's like the people in, in Wonka land, like decide whether it's a good egg or a bad egg. And then they press a button and the bad egg just drops down to the ground. <laughs> That's what my interview was like. <laughs> it's like, hammer on the is egg. CJ a good egg or a bad egg? That was the interview. And I was like, I've never, I, 
usually like people screen you for what they want versus, and I think that they, to be fair, I think they had done adequate screening beforehand for what they wanted. So like by the time I got to, I'm at the final stages, is they're really looking for like, are you a bad egg? Because um, other, him, we're going <laughs> to flush, flush you down the I'm toilet. I'm not sure the 500 <laughs> pages were necessary to determine whether you were a bad egg or not. <laughs> I think it was, though, because of, of I, I understand why they did it, and it's totally yeah. valid and legitimate, but it was one of those things where I thought, this is just the strangest, it, it was, it, this, this isn't what they were asking, but literally it was like, have you murdered anyone? No. Okay. Will you murder anyone? No. Have you stole anything? Nope. And you're like, okay, you may go. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's just like, what? <laughs> this is strange. Thank you, principal. <laughs> <laughs> So did you get this job? I don't know. I'm going to find out. I'm praying that I get it because I actually am very, very excited about the job. Otherwise, I would not have done. I'm really, really stoked. And so please pray and wish me well. But that's basically what that is all about. So I've been binging. And then um, and then in the midst of this whole thing, my, my child calls me and says, like, hey, what are we doing for spring break? I'm like, what? <laughs> I booked a whole trip to New York with hotels and everything for three separate people. So it's been kind of crazy there's yeah. another expression i've been using lately i was taught by the angels i think uh, let's see if i get this right i had this a second ago i see the world yes that's it i see the world through the all-seeing eye and to imagine that there's an eye kind of the center of your heart i see the world through the all-seeing eye I see the world through the all-seeing eye i see the world through the all-seeing eye I see the world from the all-seeing eye. Yes. And what that does is it takes you out of thinking mind and puts you into bigger mind. Mm, I like that. And then the, what was the other one? I merge with the angels. The energy of the angels. I merge with the energy of the angels. This, I, I have needed to do this in a big way. It, it's been, it's like, it feels like someone has just been poking me and poking me. Yeah. Like the last three weeks. My eye is actually twitching. <laughs> so this will probably help depokify you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, you can, I mean, you, uh, you are beyond the poking. Like you've gone through way more than this, but for me, it's like, oh my God, yeah. I've been poking. Okay, and, so and the, the upside is feeling pretty good. We don't have answers to anything yet, but yeah. it is feeling doing the work that we're doing right now and balance and seeking is it time we can take to rest tonight it's hot tub time with a yeah, fully yeah. scrubbed hot tub and, I thought and, it was and condemned. she got permission she got permission oh. it was condemned until it got we the, the came out here and uh scrubbed the whole thing and went through everything and now it's in good shape so and yeah. jessica just got green lighted to be in the hot tub and so we're gonna just hang out tonight nice. but it's is even on the other side of massive stress and instability. I'm sure I could turn on the TV and go, oh my God, about the world right now. Um, there is still a way to find a place of getting anchored even during that. Yeah, it's finding those times of pleasure and building in times of pleasure. Otherwise, it's, it's um, undoable, I think. I mean, I've been doing... Or it makes a lot easier when you actually go through little pieces of pleasure. So I've had um, this meditation that I'm doing from Gene Keys, and I don't even know what happened, but I go through this meditation, and it does call in this archangel. And it's like the energy of the angels feel really different, Michael. It's kind of like, whoa. Whereas like, uh, the energies from the stuff that I've been doing and Tantra stuff and Buddhism is like, whoa. This is more like a, Ah, like, like I, just, I, I think we need that right now. <laughs> what? We need that. It is. It feels. Uh, so, it's like, oh, that feels so nice. Like it. It just feels so nice to be. And I don't know what the energy is. I know it just feels different than the energy that I'm used to. And it's very like light and expansive and just like, I don't know. It feels really good. So that's been that's my my like pleasure seeking thing. So anything else from you? Like I can't I don't I keep I'm having problems with my screen right now, so I can't really it's, see the chat. It's it's okay. I've covered almost everything. Um, uh, a few last things is is just the general theme is the inner precedes the outer right now at this yeah. time. 
the more, and, and that goes at all times, but right now I think, I mean, we're recording this just after a full moon and the whole world is kind of going, yeah, da, 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 da. and yet if you can find that still space inside of you, Everything's spinning less. Everything feels a little bit better. So our, our, our last big thing that we have is it has been <laughs> 10 years since we last found a pair of pants that fit me, CJ. What? How come? Because I was a former pro cyclist. Yeah. And I have big glutes, big quads, smaller waist, and nothing Oh, so you have like, it's usually fit. like a big waist, but then it doesn't. And well, it's a small body. waist with bigger, bigger accoutrements below that, which means that if you get something that fits in the waist, everything is off. If you get something that fits in the leg, everything else is off. Yeah. And it like a changing of the tides, <laughs> something happened. And I'm in Sierra, uh, like their, their uh, Sierra Trading Post outlet. Yeah. which I'm going, this is like the Marshalls of, of uh, sports stores. Yeah, it turns yeah. out I think they're owned by Marshalls. And so it was, it was <laughs> I'm like, I've seen this business model before. <laughs> and we're trying to find something for Jessica. And we literally just sprinted in and we're sprinting out. And I had tried on a few pants as usual, nothing fit. And then I'm walking back to Jessica and off by themselves, totally not where they belong, as a pair of red Asics track pants. Nice. Like, oh, track I'm pants. Like, that makes sense because it's stretchy. I'm like, oh, heck, let's try these things on. And they fit. And then I went online and I found, I found, so I've got red ones, I've got black ones, I've got gray ones, I've got navy blue ones, and I'm even getting seconds and thirds of them that I'm going to pack away, not to hoard, but pack away in a closet. I totally get it. I've been wearing, I'm, I like dressing sharp. I don't, I don't care if I'm in a t-shirt or what, let's play, but, but I like looking good. It's, it's, it's a, it feels good to me. Yeah, you were and in the I fashion have, industry for a while. Yes, so like Exactly. A Thank you. And and so but I've been wearing one of my two pairs of pants. I have a worn out pair of Nikes and then I had a ripped pair of Primus because it got caught in a bicycle chain in Mount, not Mount Rushmore, at uh, Yellowstone like four or five years ago. And that's still all I have. Well, if they only fit. I mean, I totally get that. I mean, my son actually found a shirt. He's um, a skinny guy, but he has broad shoulders. So the same thing, right? Like broad shoulders mean broad everything. But he found a shirt that was for broad shoulders and was completely fitted as if it was a custom made shirt and he's like i'm buying like six of these things because exactly yeah when you find it because it's so rare to find and my sons have the same thing where their legs are incredibly long like they have legs that are equivalent to like a six four six five person but they're wow. five eleven so they have this <laughs> And they're really skinny. Good so skinny, hurdlers. Like, <laughs> for, like skinny person with like a 28 inch waist with like a, like a really like 34 inch inseam is very rare to find. So I get it. I yeah, get I'm, it. The, I'm, I'm the 28 32. So I, yeah. I get it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on your pants. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so it, was, next... it was a big minor score. And you take what you got these days. You take what uh, I know for you, it's like these small <laughs> joys are like, this is amazing. So so the last thing I have is um, I woke up at 3.30 this morning. So if I seem a little bit scattered and cannot track, that is why. I woke up at 3.30 and I've been – I have two PowerPoints that I must finish <laughs> between now because <laughs> we're going on vacation in New York City next week. But – I'm really tired. We had uh, uh, Suzanne Giesman on the show last week, an angel show looking at what the angels say about Russia and Ukraine. Mm. And to make deadline on that, we came back from the hospital one day. I worked on, worked on it in the hospital, worked on it after the hospital, mm. waited to hear back from my editor. Uh, at 11 o'clock, some stuff came in. Then at midnight, stuff came in. And then I found myself up till 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, wow. Going, I never do this. Yeah. It worked. It's our number one release of ever. It yeah. worked. So your PowerPoint push, there's a time and a place. And again, we ground and we'll be fine and do get some rest. I hope so. I, I, it is one of those things I, I kept on muscle testing. Like, should I go back to sleep? What would be the best for the outcomes that I need? And it said, just get up. So I was like, all right. And then I, got, I called up my business partner, and she was up, too. And I was like, really? She's on the East Coast, so that 6.30 is not so outrageous. But I texted her saying, are you up? And she's like, yes, I've been up since 12.30 in the morning. <laughs> so I found another crazy to work with me, which is great. But um, we're, we actually – she's almost done with her part of it, and I'm almost – 
I've done this huge analysis for five hours of all this data. I've, I've been looking at data for like two days, probably like two full days of looking at numbers and reports, 140 pages of data. Wow. So You might have some epiphanies the more tired you get. Yeah, maybe. that's. I do think sometimes when you're really tired, it's for a reason, mm -hmm. you know, so that your mind doesn't get too involved, so... So any last words of wisdom for people as we're going through this change and we're finding ways to, to anchor in and let go? I, I, you know, I do have one, which is that um, I think it's, um, I got this yesterday during my meditation teacher's class, and it's to add structure because um, spring is about everything, you, you know, you're going through transition, everything's changing. And so we feel that internally, that change. So it's about adding structure so that the change doesn't seem too out of control. So I think that's a lot of the themes that we've been talking about today is adding structure. And the structure includes doing something nice for yourself, doing yes. something pleasure for, for yourself, putting limits on stuff that's challenging for you, like the news. Um, and... Um, and then maybe pushing yourself past the limits that you thought, you know, waking up at 3.30, making 10 bacteria-oriented items. <laughs> How about I, you, I, Michael? Well, I found myself Sunday. It was, I'm still recovering, I believe, from it. But I went on to this, this bicycle program online called Zwift, where you go ride with other people. And it said, you can ride uh, the uh, Alp de Swift today the big mountain of Alpe de Swift. And it said, you can join a group of beginner riders and do Alpe de Swift. And I looked at it and I'm like, oh, this looks like about 20 minutes of hills with a group of beginner riders. Sure, I'll be fine. Why not? A, it turned into a race. <laughs> B, it was over two hours. Oh it was a uh, 3,500 foot mountain climb <laughs> on my Why trainer with my knees grinding off everybody leaving me in the dust and me going i've got to almost be there i'll just keep going and then <laughs> i've got to almost be there. i made it i don't know what what my <laughs> ego or anything says about it but you just hang in there during these days you just hang in there and you laugh and you go what the heck was that all about <laughs> what was in the beginner class it was ringers. It was all ringers in the beginner's <laughs> ride. <laughs> and, and, and I, you know, I, I could be a ringer too as a former pro, but I got hit by a freaking SUV. I, I'm pedaling with one and a half legs at the moment. <laughs> Jessica's like, this, this is going to be the most twisted thing. She said, oh, you could be equal with everybody. Just let me get in a virtual SUV on the race course and I'll start <laughs> knocking people around. <laughs> That'll level the playing field. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, you didn't just say that. <laughs> oh my God, Michael. I love that. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes you just have to push through it. Push It'll through be it. fine. You can do it. it. Bring that it warrior spirit fine. in. I think there's a special energy right now. It's an energy of instability and uncertainty and certainly fear but if we can play with that energy and ground in there's actually something positive we can use right now and there's definitely as as the manager we brought on board as she said things often have to fall apart to fall together at a higher level mm -hmm. nice i like your manager so she rocks yeah. all right on that note for everyone out there well first off let's see well, i'm going to give one last thing for people Love yourself up. Hmm. Love yourself up right now. I don't think we do that enough. And so we got to do's here. We got to don'ts here. We got all this stuff. How about just some love? And laughter. Can I add laughter too? Oh, of course. Because that's just can. laughter that we just had made me laugh so hard that I'm crying and it's so good. <laughs> so laughter. Comedy. I'm, I'm trying to remember all the jokes I've been telling Jessica with, with, with Han on board and Jessica will start laughing and then the belly starts bouncing up and down and then she starts laughing uncontrollably and then she's trying to hold the belly because she's bouncing up and down and she's laughing and she's Cute. like in pain doubled over and I'm like -ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> was this trying to help her out because to get her well, to it, laugh? it produces laughter produces as, as uh, uh, Deepak Chopra talked about in a, a book on self healing that's it's got to be from the 90s at some point. He said that he was talking about cancer and he said, 
more um, expensive drugs are produced and say one good roller coaster ride mm. than millions of dollars worth of anti-cancer drugs ever will have. Wow. And so that fun, that joy, that laughter is a whole pharmaceutical machine. Mm. I love and that. so if we're healing Jessica, if we're healing baby Hannah, laugh, 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 laugh. I love it. Laughter and love. Woo-hoo! <laughs> For everyone out there, this is Michael Sandler and CJ Lou. I'm moving to second chakra <laughs> from the Fired Up with CJ show. <laughs> Saying, be well, have fun, bring more laughter, love into your life today and shine bright. <laughs>